Hi there, welcome to this short restorative practice. Restorative is all about giving yourself the rest and the support that you need. So in terms of props for this practice, what will you want? You'll definitely want a mat, some perhaps some padding, some cushions, maybe one or two blocks. I'm using a yoga bolster cushion. If you don't have one, you could perhaps substitute it with one or two bed pillows. And the invitation during this short practice is really to give your body the support you need. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways to use the props as we go through the practice. But if you want to use the props in any way that you wish to make yourself more comfortable, that's absolutely fine. So that might mean that you put a block underneath your head every time you're lying down. You might put a pillow underneath your head. You might want to put something underneath your knees just to relieve any pressure through the lower back if you're lying on your back. You may also want to grab a strap, folks, just to help lengthen your arms if we're holding onto limbs and that just makes you feel a bit more comfortable as well. So the invitation is to find the edge of the stretch, but still be comfortable while you're there. No shaking, no labored breath, no shallow breath. Just very, very steady deep breaths to bring us down into that deep sense of relaxation. Come to a comfortable position on your mat. Lie down and feel the back of your body in contact with the floor underneath you. Begin to breathe steadily in and out through nose. Feel the weight of your body on the ground and allow the tension to begin to sink away from your body. Draw one knee in towards your chest and you can hold the front of the shin or the back of the thigh, whichever feels most comfortable. You might choose to extend the leg away to start feeling a stretch down the front of the thigh on that long leg. And just take it to a point where you feel the edge of a stretch. No shaking, no really strong desire to move out of this stretch because you'll be there for a little while. Keep the steadiness in your breath and really allow the body to sink into the floor. And what you might feel here is that your body might want to move around a little bit in this stretch. And if it does, just let it. These restorative sessions are about listening to your body and what it needs. So if it's beneficial for you to adjust your body slightly here, please feel free. settle into stillness. Moving slowly now, cross that lifted knee over your body. The butt cheek will roll off the ground. And if your knee doesn't touch the floor, you might want to grab a block and pop it underneath the knee to give you a little bit of support. If you feel like having the knee close to the floor pulls through your back, really please do use a prop. It needn't be the block. You could use anything you like. And then your arms can go wide to the side, or they might stay bent. Again, you choose whichever gives you the most beneficial feeling across the top of your chest. Perhaps feeling the lengthening sensation down the top side of your body. Maybe into the side of that top butt cheek. 
we're aiming to keep the shoulder blades down on the floor here so that there's a deep sensation of releasing tension into the ground. If your neck is feeling tight, you may want to put another prop underneath your head. Please feel free to do so. Allow the breath to travel through the midsection of your body, creating waves of relaxation as it goes. You can stay here if you're comfortable, or if you'd like to deepen this stretch just slightly, you might choose to lengthen the top leg. Now when you lengthen the leg, you may choose to perhaps remove the block. Maybe you'd be able to touch the foot to the floor. But again, if you'd prefer to keep the block, please feel free. If straightening the leg brings a real sense of unpleasant pulling into the lower back, keep the knee bent. If we shove into the stretches in a restorative practice, we're not coming into that beautiful relaxation. We'll stay and maintain ourselves in that stressful place. Give yourself this time to really choose what is right for you in this current and present moment because we hardly ever do that. Again, when you're here in this pose, you may find that some natural adjustments happen without you even thinking about them. See what those adjustments bring. How do they feel? What's changed? Allow yourself to be curious in these moments of stillness. Moving into half happy baby pose. Use your hand to lift the knee up and lie yourself flat on your back again. Keep that same knee bent and draw it towards the armpit so it will angle outward slightly. Bend the knee and then lift the foot up towards the ceiling. The knee remains bent. You can hold onto the back of the thigh, the back of the calf using both hands, or maybe you'd like to take hold of the foot with its same hand. Whatever you've chosen to work with, do make sure that the head stays on the ground. And if it won't stay on the ground, put a prop underneath it so the neck muscles can relax. The underneath leg has started straight, but if it really feels like too much of a pull across the inner thigh and groin area, do feel free to bend that straight leg, that underneath leg. Allow a sense of softness to come into the hips here. Allowing your body to fold very gently without any forcing. Feeling the spine on the ground as the tissue at the back of the body has this wonderful opportunity just to settle and open. Taking your time, gently let go of that foot, pop the foot down on the ground, and extend the legs long. 
take a moment here to be still and just notice how that side of your body feels now that you've taken some time to stretch. Perhaps you feel different from one side to the other. So let's use this opportunity now to change sides. Bend both knees and you might just need to move over a little bit to make sure you've got space, that's fine. Bring the other knee in toward the chest, again holding wherever is comfortable for you, front of shin, back of thigh. Perhaps extending the underneath leg away so that you feel the stretch across the groin down the front thigh of that long leg the underneath leg. Keep equal weight down either side of the body here. We're attempting to stretch across the hips here. Be mindful of what's happening in the neck and the shoulders. Can you keep those soft as well? When we try and let go of tension in one area, it will often manifest somewhere else. Moving over to the other side now, take your block over to the other side if you need it. We lift that knee up and over and across the body, resting the knee on the block if we need. If you find you don't need it on the side, you absolutely don't have to use it. And then again, extending the arms to the sides in a way that suits you. Maybe long, maybe bent. With the two shoulder blades down on the ground. If that means your knee lifts up off your prop, just find a little bit of something extra to make the prop higher so that you've got that support for the leg. Breathe into the back of the ribs here. See how much you can expand them and open them. Really make room for yourself here. Again, if you'd like, you might want to extend that top leg. So remove the block. Try extending that top leg. If it doesn't feel right, you can take it back to the bent position. If you'd like to keep the block underneath the leg, you can also do that. Check in that both shoulder blades have stayed on the ground. And then take a moment to compare how this feels from one side to the other. Maybe it feels more open, easier. Maybe you need a little bit more support. Give yourself that support. Feel your breath. Expanding into the back of your ribs, around your chest, almost as if it swirls around as your spine creates this beautiful spiral inside your body. Really luxuriate in this position here. As you just give yourself some space and some time. Moving to happy baby, use a hand to lift that knee up. We've been there a while. Lie yourself on your back again and bring that same knee in towards your armpit. That 
That top foot then shines up towards the ceiling, still with a bent knee. The underneath leg can be bent or straight. Holding on to the back of the thigh, the back of the calf, or maybe taking hold of that top foot with its same hand. Whatever works best for you. Again, ensuring that head can lie comfortably down on the floor or onto a prop. Feel the breath travel down through your torso here. Creating that deep sense of rest into the lower back, the back of the hips. Perhaps feeling the elongation through the inner thigh of that top leg and across the groin. We'll be here for a little while longer, so if you need to adjust this position to find a sense of repose in it, absolutely go there. Taking your time, bend your knees and roll over to one side. For the next pose, you'll need a bolster or perhaps those two bed pillows if you don't have a bolster. You're going to lie it lengthways down the mat, about a third of the way down the mat. Turn to face away from it and sit down with your bum right up at the edge of the bolster or the pillows and then lie back down over the bolster or the pillows. The bolster wants to rest in between the shoulder blades with the head supported and the arms down beside the bolster or the pillows on the floor. And the purpose of the bolster or the pillows here is just to push gently up into you to create more openness and space across your chest. Take some deep breaths and as you breathe out, allow the collarbones to feel as if they're spreading outwards to the sides. This is a really great pose if you've been sat down at a desk all day, perhaps driving or commuting. If you wanted to deepen the stretch across your chest, you can change the position of your arms. You might choose to have them wide, bent or straight. It's up to you. keeping the upper body still as it is. If you wanted to create some openness through your hips here, simply turn the feet inward so the soles of the feet touch one another and open your knees out to the side in a diamond shape almost. If this feels like it would be a beneficial stretch but it's actually a little bit too intense, you're welcome to grab some extra props the cushions may be a block underneath each thigh. So just by giving yourself that little bit of extra support with the legs, you can adjust the stretch to your own tolerance level. Remember that we don't want any shaking or an intensity that causes your breath to become more shallow. Where do you feel the edge of the stretch in the hips 
with also that nice deep steady breath. Again, opening the hips like this is a great remedy if you've been sat down for long periods during the day. Really allow yourself to weight down into the bolster or the pillows, almost as if they are gently pushing back up into you to encourage more openness across your chest. Remembering to breathe smoothly and deeply throughout. Using your hands, slowly bring the knees up into the center. Roll over to one side to bring yourself off the pillows or off the bolster and then ease the pillows or bolster out of the way and come and lie down for Shavasana, your final pose. Make yourself truly comfortable here and feel absolutely free to stay here for as long as you wish. <laughs> 